Good morning, fellow travelers. Today is Saturday, January 28th, 2023. I am up on deck 15 on Celebrity Beyond. I'm gonna do a little bit of a tour because I haven't done a lot. Magic carpet bar is there in the pool and the rooftop garden. the area where we watch the movies and they're having yoga there right now or stretching they call it The rooftop garden grill. So nice Specialty Chips, dining. Infinity hot tub. It all. And the sunset bar is this way. our last day so we'll just be hanging out on the ship as always doing ship activities the jogging tracks interesting it goes all around the ship and then there's a level there where it goes up and then back down off the side of the ship. Very nice area, it has a bar and at times they serve uh, dining here. Hot tubs everywhere. Street area for those that are in the, the yacht club. This is the main pool level with the bar. elephant sculpture with a man holding the elephant on his back.
to the Effie Boutique to get my last charm for my charm necklace, which is really a nice memento. Oh, it's crowded, but I can probably sneak in here. These are just some of the shops in the area. Cypress Restaurant was our main restaurant. We ate there one night because we had reservations at the other three. They have four main restaurants on this ship, which is really nice. You get to choose whichever one you want or you're assigned one, and we were assigned Cypress. We ate in Cosmopolitan last night. It was very nice. And they both connect to the casino. I'm going to shut this off while we walk through the casino. We are in the Normandy restaurant for a wine tasting. What are you doing? It's 11 a.m. I'm not sure I'll enjoy this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Rick didn't want to join me, so I'm going solo. Hope you made your cruise wonderful. 
And once again, thank you so much for your loyalty and for keep on choosing us for your crucifications. And welcome to our wine tasting for the Captain's Club. So before we start, I have one question for everybody. Do you know what time is it? It's wine time. So before we start, let me introduce to you our amazing sommelier, which is Marsh, who will be initiating this event for you. And I think you're in good hands. I just want to wish you a wonderful day. Enjoy your wine tasting. And I'll see you around the ship. And for those who's um, guests leaving tomorrow, please safe travels. And we hope to see you again. Thank you very much and have a great day ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. You had breakfast? No. Yes. 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 <laughs> so welcome to our wine o'clock. I mean, Captain's Club, your very own Captain's Club tasting. So on behalf of all the sommelier on board Celebrity Beyond, my name is March, and I'm, I'm all the way from Philippines. I know that Philippines is not a wine-growing country, but of course we're growing people who educate about the wines. <laughs> okay, so on behalf of my team, the smallest team on board Celebrity Beyond, but we are the fastest runner, I can assure you that. <laughs> okay, so headed by our cellar master, she's not here, she has been, you know, dividing her body into three for all of the events. But yes, yeah, cellar master, Elena, and of course, entire beverage team. Welcome to CC Tasting again, this is your own tasting. Okay, so it's wine o'clock now. <laughs> okay, I just want to have a disclaimer to those who are allergic to grapes here. Anybody else allergic to grapes? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Because maybe you are in the wrong tasting then. Alright. So, why we're doing it early in the morning? Any idea? To go back to sleep. So, we can order our wine for dinner. So, we have to go and buy their wine. Ah. All right. So, very good. Because early in the morning is the best time to awaken our taste buds. Oh, and also, oh, well. purposely, we do it in the sense that we want to stimulate your palate before lunch. <laughs> How about that? All right. So, we're not going to take any longer. We were going to do our first wine. Okay. So, according to a systematic approach, on the tasting, we have to check. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, please take wine number one. On, on our left, left side, oh, wine. On the left. Okay. Yeah. All right, can you guess? I know that you see the bottle, like but water. of course it's a small uh, <laughs> letter in there. Can you guess what variety it is by sniffing, by, you know? Uh, Cabernet yeah. Sauvignon. Yeah. Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> Uh, pale greenish in color when it comes to okay let's check the clarity of our wine is there any you know the wine is clear did yeah. you see yeah. you you didn't see any grape seed in there or something uh, no. no all right so it means that the wine is clear the clarity of our wine is okay so when it comes to the color you can see it's pale pale greenish in color yes but because it depends on the region where the wine was produced Okay, so our wine number one is Sauvignon Blanc, Morpo Helena. This one is all the way from Central Valley, Chile. Chile. Hmm. Chile. Okay, so speaking about Chile, they tend to practice eco-friendly farming ever since they started growing grapes. So it means that most of the wines, almost 75% organically, are making. Everything is clear? You get something? You like it? Yes. Very good. That's the most important. I love to hear. I like it. I love it. Okay. For your second wine, please take a minute of your time to grab your second wine. Again, let's check the clarity of our wine. It much more richer and bolder, more, you know, color than our first wine. Any idea what grape is this? Very good. What is a wino? Love it. Wino. 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 Okay, so shortly it's more richer, as you can see. It's more richer, more bolder in color. Chardonnay. Chardonnay is considered. It's a process of transforming the malic acid into a lactic acid that provides buttery and creamy style or character in the Chardonnay. You can get a butter there? Creamy? Oak is just followed because of course it comes from the wood or fermented uh, oak barrel, which is French or American. 
Alright, Chardonnay is good for seafood. Anybody believes in that? No. No? <laughs> yeah. So it's good for seafood, especially for fatty fish. Like for example, you have a salmon fish, more fats, more oils. It really goes well with that. And of course, not only about seafoods we're talking about. Okay, we're talking about the best, like for example, if you're having steaks and you are a white wine drinker. Okay, so Chardonnay is a perfect substitute for that. It's a full bodied medium acidity, buttery, oaky, and creamy character that is Chardonnay. I'm still working, so later I'm going to dance while I'm working on it. Yes, to red some more red some left. Yeah. Yeah. It depends, madam, because um, alcohol contents, okay, it depends on the region. Like, for example, for the Sauvignon Blanc, the cooler the climate, the more acidity it provides, and the lesser sugar. So, for the Sauvignon Blanc, it contains 12.5 to 13 percent by alcohol volume, but higher acidity. For the Chardonnay, it is 13.5 to 14. It depends on the philosophy of the winemaker on how they're going to, you know, to make their the style of their wine, whatever they like. So, yeah. So Chardonnay basically it depends also like for the climate. Like this one is from Monterey, California. It's a moderate climate. We cannot say that it's too cold and it's not too hot. Moderate climate, and that's why they produce some kind of so um Chardonnay that's more on you know fruit forward character with buttery and creamy style. Yes, ma'am. You said this was from the Chablis, Chablis region? No, ma'am, it's from Monterey. Oh, I was the other one, was the other one, right, right. Yeah, but Chardonnay, as I mentioned earlier, it's originally planted in Burgundy. So, apart from Chablis region on the northern part of Burgundy, they are producing 100% Chardonnay. Okay, so talking about Burgundy, we'll just so to answer all those questions, even if you didn't ask yet, madam, I will answer it now. <laughs> so talking about Burgundy, it's just like on the upper part, of course, is Chablis. Next is we have this Cote d'Or. <coughs> so Burgundy is divided into five appellations. So we have the Cote d'Or, which is divided into two villages, which is the Cote Nuit and Cote de Bune, which Cote Nuit producing Pinot Noir, and the others is Chardonnay. Okay, we have Maconay, Cote Chalonnay, and Beaujolais, which is the most production of Gamay and Allegote. That's Burgundy. It's a comparison that I mentioned earlier from Chardonnay to California because in European, they tend to stop the malolactic fermentation. They stopped it before it provides a buttery and creamy notes. So, as you notice, if you're drinking a European Chardonnay, like for example, a French Chardonnay, it's totally different. You cannot taste the butter in there because they stop the malolactic fermentation. Compared to the Chardonnay in California that they tend to, you know, all the Chardonnay, one of these uh, grapes actually underwent in this malolactic fermentation <coughs> that provides all of this character and to soften the wine also. All right, you're ready for wine number three? Yes. So ABC there, please? <laughs> Alright, so we need to finish our wine. Okay, so as you can see, it's much more lighter, more translucent in color. Yes, color wise, you can see, try more translucent. You can even see your face if you put it like even on your thumb. Okay, so Pinot Noir. <laughs> this is a wine number three Pinot Noir from Chile, Central Valley. See? Same as the first one, same brand. This particular Pinot Noir is a more Pohelena and it's certified at 100% organic as well. This particular brand. All right. So because Chilean, you know, always practicing this eco-friendly farming, so most of the wine sustainability is the most important for them. <coughs> oh, beautiful. I like this table because they already finished. <laughs> yes, and price later on. They're all wine hours. So before, yeah, she is very good. Cool. She is there, a role model. <laughs> so you know what to order tonight, okay? Okay, I'm all all these wines. You know what to order tonight. You're sommelier, okay? Now, 
Let's finish our wine number three. They already finished it. Finish three. Three. I did that. <laughs> Easy. Finish wine three. I've done that. And then when uh, we're doing more wine tasting, I will invite you all there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah because no waste. They're saving the wigs. <laughs> Okay. Look at this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go <laughs> proceed to our wine number four. Got it. Okay. You see the difference? Oh, it comes to color. Oh, purple. Dark. Yeah. Very dark. dark. Color. Yeah, more? I don't think it's as dark as the brown. Bleachers, you can see. Oh, I thought... oh, yeah. it's dark. Okay, it's a medium to full body. Yeah. Mike, that's dark. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> knows this wine? Cabernet. Cabernet. Mm -hmm. Cabernet. That's what you like. That's your <laughs> okay, so our wine number four is Cabernet Sauvignon. That's your favorite, your favorite right? Cabernet Sauvignon, La Postole. This one is a reserve wine from Chile. Chile, Chile, yes. Chile. La Postole or Casa Chile La Postole in Chile, Chile is one of the biggest producer of wines also in, in that region. So, they they don't, actually, this is not 100% Cabernet, but 10% Cabernet. Yeah, they're probably higher. Yeah. So it portrays more of okay? it, so more as you can see when it comes to the color, Cabernet Sauvignon is considered as a king of red grapes. Yeah. So it serves as a backbone and all this wine because Cabernet Sauvignon is more richer, more tannic, tannic wines, it's really very, you know, sharp. Yes, current, as you can see. Careful, it's going to bounce in. No. <laughs> Let's see if it is our wine. your bug naked trivia now i know many of you of course are fans of the incredible captain kate but do we have any fans of bug <laughs> all right and you are in the right place to be because what's going to happen in just a moment of course captain and bug are going to come out and i'm going to ask you about a 15 question trivia and all you got to do is write down the answers on a piece of paper and then we're going to go through these answers all together and of course the winner is going to get themselves an exceptional prize now that prize is to come up on stage have a photograph of course with yourselves with captain kate and also to have a snuggle with bug so it is a very much a one-off prize and i think we're getting emotional i know uh okay so it is a one-off prize and saying that it does mean that I'm a stickler for the rules, okay? Now the rules are, you cannot use your mobile phone, okay? So you cannot use to try and Google or try and cheat your way through the tube because this is for an exceptional prize and most importantly, it is for a lot of fun, okay? So let's keep it that way, let's play uh, nice and equally for this amazing, amazing prize. Now, uh, in a moment, Captain Kate and Bug Naked are going to come out, so you need to go wild and crazy. As a last reminder, Please make sure you get your papers and pens from the back of the room. But I think we should bring them on stage, don't you? So please, everybody, go on and crazy for Captain Kate McHugh and Buzz Nagel! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. She just gets snuggly because, of course, very important to keep her warm. But, Bug, as you know, I need to ask you a very important question. What is it like to be such a famous star? That means I know I'm amazing, I'm very useless, useless attention. Of course, she's going to have lots of photographs, absolutely. All right, so we are about to get started then with the trivia, everybody. So if you are ready, then so am I. Let's get cracking with question number one. Number one is, how old is Bug? Yeah, most cats don't like you playing with their tail. <laughs> 
<laughs> and question number 10. Which nativity character did Bug dress up as for Christmas 2021? I'm going to give you some options. The options are A, an angel, because she has an angelic meow. Uh, B, a camel to go back to her Egyptian roots. Or C, a star. Is there really an explanation for this needed? So all you've got to do is write down A, B, or C. So A is an angel, B is a camel, and C is a star. She can see you. Keep waving, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> They're shy. So that one was number 10, A, B or C for number 10. What character did Bug dress up as for Christmas 2021? For number 11, in case of a real emergency, Bug Naked, of course, would abandon the ship in a special animal life jacket. What color is that life jacket? So, in, a, in case of a real emergency, Bug Naked would abandon the ship in a special animal life jacket. I'm looking for the colour of Bug's special life jacket. Very nice, very nice. And for question number 12, another 50-50 true or false? Bug has her own cat flap from the bridge to her cabin. Bug has her own cat flap from the bridge to her cabin. And question number 13. True or false? Bug has her food prepared by celebrity chefs every day. <laughs> So Bug has her food prepared by celebrity chefs every day. Do you think that's true? <coughs> Do you think that's false? And that is question 13. And number 14, what is Bug's zodiac sign? Give you some <laughs> options to help you out if you need them. A, Pisces, affectionate has no boundaries and hates dogs. In particular, 101 of them. <laughs> B, Leo, dramatic, center of attention and loves the ocean. Or C, Capricorn, serious, independent and a global legend. So do you think that's A, B or C for Bugs Zodiac sign? And number 15, what is the colour of Bugs' eyes? <laughs> what is the colour of Bugs' beautiful eyes? Alrighty everybody, that was all 15 also famous on the app called TikTok, okay? So how many followers between these two lovely ladies here does she have on TikTok? Okay, you're gonna take a guess, write it down on a piece of paper, and the person, of course, is the closest. Let me just double check the answer. All right, thank you very much. Is going to win themselves the prize. So the tiebreaker was, how many followers do you think Bug has on TikTok? TikTok is a video app. Alrighty, so thank you very much. Let's have a little look here. Alright, now I've got to do some maths. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let me just go back to the answer.
Alrighty, so we have got a winner. We had how many uh, followers does she have on TikTok? We had 15,000 over here, and we had 45,000 over here, and the answer is 31 and a half thousand, which means you've just done it. Give yourself a big round of applause, please. Congratulations if you'd like to come up. You can have a lovely photo of Paul from Captain Kate, and you can have a little snuggle with Bug. If you have any sort of camera, I can take a photo for you. Please give it up for a winner, everybody. Join her team. This is Karen from Karen. Oh look, you look like you've done this before, Karen. Are you a fan of cats? Yeah, she's a fan of cats. Give it up one more time, everybody. Karen, you're winner of the Bug Naked Trivia. And of course, a big thank you to each and every one of you who've come out to take part in this celebrity activity. Thank you so much. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Well done. And we also do have some other little prizes for you there, Karen. It's exclusive little prizes of Bug Naked as you are the winner of the trivia. So thank you very much. All right, we'll give her back to mummy. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, thank you, Bug. It's hard work being a celebrity, did you know? Karen, here's your treats. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well done. Congratulations one more time for Karen, everybody, the winner of Bug Naked Trivia. She just dropped them. She's going to go for a little stretch, a little walk around. She's saying she would like to go back now. It's time to go home. Give it up, everybody, one more time, please, for, of course, Captain Kate McHugh and Buck Naked. Thank you all for coming out to come and join me this afternoon. Have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. Thank you very much. Well, congratulations. Those guys are 
insane. You go out of bed to go for a wee at three o'clock in the morning, and by the time you get back to your bed, it's already been made. <laughs> and then you get chocolate on the pillow. It's unbelievable. They're like ninjas. They're incredible, those guys. Make sure everything's uh, clean and tidy around the ship, uh, and of course, uh, in the staterooms as well. And of course, our amazing food and beverage team. Have we enjoyed the food and beverage? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know you guys have been enjoying the food. Do you know how I know? Because Seven days ago, you all arrived on this cruise ship as guests, and some of you have been enjoying the food so much that tomorrow you will leave as cargo. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just how it goes. That's how it goes. You're on a cruise. That's how you should do it. Uh, but of course, I couldn't leave without mentioning my own team, the entertainment team, and who make doing my job it's such a pleasure every single day. We hope uh, you've had some fun here in the theatre with our shows, of course, uh, with Alexa. Yeah. And the amazing activities team uh, out of the battleship. Do we enjoy the activities? Yeah. Yes. On behalf of myself and the entertainment team, we just want to say a huge thank you for coming and supporting uh, the live entertainment, the live music uh, with our incredible uh, bands and acts, uh, and of course the activities, because without you guys coming to support that, uh, it's just us stood in a theatre with a microphone talking to no one. And I can promise you that's not very fun. So thank you. Uh, up on here on the stage, you can really feel the love and the warmth. Uh, of the audience every single night this cruise, so we really, really appreciate it. And of course, use that survey to let us know uh, what your favourite things were, who your favourite acts were here in the theatre, your favourite activities, uh, so we can keep doing them and uh, get even better at doing them and get even um, to bring the best uh, acts back again uh, up here on the stage. And please do that for us. Now you get seven days and seven days only uh, to fill out that survey. And some people say to me, Tim, what happens if we didn't like something? Can we still fill out the survey? And I say, yes. But wait till the eighth day. <laughs> now, of course, so please do that for us. As I said, it only takes a couple of minutes. And now, ladies and gents, of course, we're going to get on with tonight's amazing showtime. And you saw this wonderful and talented group of people earlier on in the cruise in an amazing show called Elements. Well, tonight they are back. Our singers, our dancers, our acrobats, and the Celebrity Beyond Orchestra. As we give you a tribute to some of the very best musicals, past and present, from Broadway and the West End of London. And one of my favorite parts of tonight's show is in just a moment, up here on this incredible screen, you're going to see the 38th piece of London Palladium Orchestra, who uh, played and performed and recorded this soundtrack for us uh, at the end of last year. So all the soundtrack you hear, uh, together with our orchestra, uh, comes direct from the London Palladium Orchestra. It is a wow moment, and I will hear the wow in a few moments. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with it. This is Stage Door.
alienation of states What's the state of our nation? I'm past patiently waiting on passion Always fast, every expectation Every action an act of creation I'm laughing in the face of tragedy and sorrow For the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow And I am not gonna lay my shirt I am not gonna lay my shirt And you're just like a pussy I'm not stuck and hungry And I'm not gonna lay my shirt We gonna rise up and it's time to take a shot We gonna rise up and it's time to take a shot We gonna rise up and it's time to take a shot We gonna rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up It's time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, shot, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up Time to take a shot, rise up, rise up
incredible cast <laughs> going. And of course, the amazing London Palladium Orchestra out there on the bigger screen as well. And ladies and gents, of course, there's still lots more entertainment to come tonight. We've got a game show starting in just a few moments in the club. And then, of course, back in the club later on tonight at 10.15, the return of our lady Valentine. The boys from last night are back up with Rock Reloaded. A very special finale and showtime for us then, so do not miss it. Uh, but from me, that is about it, other than to say on behalf of Captain Kate, Hotel Director Mihai, and all of the 1,420 crew here on board the Celebrity Beyonder, thank you, thank you, thank you for choosing to spend your cruise vacation here with us. It means the world to us. We very much hope I get to be your cruise director another day, whether it's back here on the Beyond or any of the wonderful ships in the Celebrity fleet. But until then, stay happy, stay healthy, think positive, test negative, <laughs> See you again around the world. My name is Tina Cruz Director. Good night! <laughs>